there's this guitar patch, which is kind of cool, actually. I should probably mention that. This is not a real guitar. It's a synthetic guitar, which is funny because I actually am a guitar player and I do play guitar on my recordings now, but at the time I did, I did this instead. This is a weird patch. And this is one of those examples of like when I was just experimenting with sound design and then it turned into a sound that became a song. It's this weird plucky thing that kind of sounds like a guitar strum, like a muted guitar strum. Honestly, I don't really know how I did this. Got a couple of envelopes controlling the warp and the tuning. And then there's a bunch of effects on it. Compression EQ, overdrive, erosion. That's always nice. Adds like a kind of, I'm on the sign setting, which is like a kind of a bit crushy type of setting. Saturation, equalization, more of it. And then this is oh, the glue compressor, which is just your classic SSL style, analog style compression. And there you have it. How do you avoid getting tired of what you're working on while working on it? I take breaks so that, like, I'll take weeks away from a song and then come back. This allow song, yourself like, to do I other stuff like and then come back. This song before I finished it. I take breaks. And when I come back to it, so I have a fresh perspective. And I, anyone who listens to a song 500 I'm times is going to get yeah. bored of it. Anyone who listens to a song 500 times is going to get bored so of it. So you have to take breaks. You have to be like. So you have to take breaks. You have to be like. Allow yourself to do other stuff and then come back. Here we have our little effects section. Someone did ask about this before. Um, <clears throat> so we got like little reversey swooshes here. Kind of this is kind of just ear candy essentially. This chi wind chime is is Ableton's stock Latin percussion wind chime. Oh, uh, late Latin percussion wind chime. A little bit of a white noise sweep, which I created myself. Just filtered white noise from operator. Yeah, that little. What is that? I think I made this sound in another project and I brought it into this because I needed some more like syncopated ear candy. I have a feeling this is a wavetable thing that I like must have made from scratch in Serum. Like you can draw waveforms in or whatever. And I did that and then put a bunch of modulation on it. And it's just literally like a backgroundy sort of kind of pitchy sound. Sometimes it's good to add like stuff that like I just threw that sound together in like two seconds but then it kind of is good that it sounds weird and not very musical because against all the other stuff it creates quite a nice like accent yeah it's just all over the place it's like pitchy there's not there's a really cool sound right here <laughs> again I made this using serum uh, it's literally one saw wave with some unison voices, a bit of distortion. And then I've got these macros mapped and you can see this weird spiky EQ right here that, um, so I mapped, I mapped this weird spiky EQ because I wanted it to be like a weird notchy sound. So I like did intense boost and intense cuts to make it sound kind of vowelly. but then I mapped all of these points so that you can move them up and down with this macro control, right? So you can see me moving that. But then also that macro control here is also controlling Serum. And what's it doing in Serum? It's controlling this macro, which is mapped to the master tuning, which is the pitch. So as I move this macro, the synth is changing pitch and the EQ is changing its setting so that it goes up and down to filter the lows or the highs and everything in between. And it sounds like an engine revving which is kind of cool. When I was making this, I was very into the idea of using very simple sound sources, like very basic um, oscillator sources, nothing crazy, but then using the ability to map and like use effects afterwards to make that the character of the sound so starting with basic building blocks and then seeing what kind of crazy stuff i've come up with with basic tools after so like this is just an eq and a macro knob and i created like one of the craziest sounds ever which is really cool oh yeah this is another cool effect the noise laser so we've got kind of like doubling what the claps are doing just like building up over time and i just wanted it as an extra texture and it like is just a rhythmic percussive driving thing and it's just, what have we got? Two layers of operator, white noise. This one's got a notch filter on it. And this one, 
got a bandpass filter on it. So two layers of white noise, each with different filtering on them. And then we've got some EQ compression, a bit of multiband just to make it sit better. And then some plate reverb. And then this is a sample. This is literally a sample from freesound.org. Public domain, so anyone can go get them. Um, that's such a cool little like synth zap. Shout out freesound.org. Got a bunch of other little booms. This is a custom boom that I made with like a reverberated kick drum. Um, again, exported it as a sample. We we'll probably repitched it. Yeah, it's pitched down a bunch. Gives like this deep texture behind everything. I think for this one, I normally use the Ableton arpeggiator, but I think because I don't know if you know this, but I only recently learned this. You can you can record the output of the arpeggiator, like the MIDI that's coming out of it. So I recorded the MIDI so that I could then edit it. This MIDI is playing a very kind of over the top unison-y like synth patch and serum. This cool, what's this? Those are both instances of Silent, a plugin that I barely use anymore, but I'm glad I used it here because it does have a cool sound. The harp? Oh no, it's session strings. So we've got spiccato, which is kind of like staccato. So like a very fast little arpeggiated. You would never be able to do that with an orchestra in real life, but thanks to modern technology, we can do whatever we like. So we've got contact session strings pro. Oh, there's another layer. Yeah, so one of them's pizzicato and the other is staccato. But it's the same thing, just like different types of articulations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is that? I think it's just a really quick pitch bend down on like a synthesizer saw wave. It looks like I've exported it. So I must have bounced, bounced it down from somewhere. Maybe with the lows cut out because it's kind of... When you cut the lows out of a really low sound, you get that squelchy like kind of weird filtered effect. <laughs> 